Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center. I'm Jack Lambeth along with Luke Meadows and Sam Lanier. When you think of comeback stories, you think of the Red Sox, Dave Roberts and the Bloody Sox coming back from a three game to none deficit to their dreaded rivals, the Yankees, in the 2004 ALDS. The Red Sox went on to win the World Series for the first time since 1918. Or maybe you think about the 1993 Buffalo Bills, who trailed 35-3 in the AFC playoff game, only to win 41-38. Now, comeback means one word, Tiger. Tiger Woods is back and perhaps has, and perhaps has cemented his place as the greatest golfer who, who ever lived after he won the Masters for his first major title in 11 years. Tiger trailed by two strokes heading into the final round at Augusta National, but he finished with four birdies on the back nine to win by one shot, capturing his first Masters in 14 years. The Golden State Warriors have done something that Michael Jordan's Bulls, Magic John Johnson's Lakers, Larry Bird's Celtics, or anything that LeBron James has played for could not accomplish. Their 119 to 117 vic overtime victory over Portland cemented their fifth straight appearance in the NBA Finals. None of the aforementioned teams accomplished that, and the Warriors' head man, Steve Kerr, is the first coach to take a team to the Finals in his first five years in the league. Only the 1960s Lakers and Celtics went to, the five, went to five straight NBA Finals, and LeBron James individually played in eight consecutive Finals for two different teams. The Warriors swept the series without the injured Kevin Durant, and now await the winner of the Toronto-Milwaukee series in the Finals. Did we already talk about a comeback? Maybe this one is on par with Tigers' return to prominence. Virginia last year became the first number one seed to lose to a 16 seed in the NCAA tournament. The loss to UMBC was a shocker and a complete embarrassment to the Cavaliers. But last night, here was Virginia knocking off the upstart Texas Tech in overtime for the national championship, as this game was a thriller with lots of offense for two teams known for their defense. Virginia was paced by a star forward, DeAndre Hunter, who scored 27 points, along with tournament MVP Kyle Guy, who had 24. Jarrett Culver led the way with, for the Red Raiders with 24 points. There's no game action at the NFL Draft, but the TV ratings once again were mind-blowing as fans of the NFL teams watched eagerly to see who their favorite teams would select. More people watched the draft than some games in the NBA playoffs. According to ESPN.com, no, no surprises early on as Arizona made Oklahoma, Oklahoma quarterback Kyler Murray the top overall selection. Three defensive linemen went next as the 49ers grabbed Nick Bosa, the Jets took Quinnen Williams, and, and Oakland took Cleland Farrell. The Giants grabbed their QB of the future, selecting Daniel Jones of Duke with the sixth overall pick. Finally, War of the Will won the Preakness Stakes at the Pimlico in Baltimore by the clear margin. The win gave redemption to the pundits of the decision to disqualify maximum security, who bumped War of Will at the Kentucky Derby, allowing the country house to win. This was the first time since 1951 that the race officials called interference in a race, deciding the outcome of one of the horse racing's biggest events. That's it for a busy day in sports. For Jack Lambeth and Sam Lanier. Uh, and Luke Meadows. <laughs> thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.